welcome back to my channel. It's me. I um I don't think I've recorded a video since I cut my hair. I decided to shop off my hair because it had like a weird length and I was just like, you know what? Let me just chop everything off so it grows it evenly, you know, because it was just like short here and then like just like a V long in the back and it was just like what the hell do you have on your hair? So I decided to chop off my hair and I have to say the girl who did my hair is like a bomb because I'm like really scared to like chop off my cut my hair and she did an amazing job. So I'm gonna link her information down below in her Instagram if you're in the uh, Orlando area. I'm from Florida, Orlando, Florida. So if you're in the Orlando, Florida area, uh, you should go see her because she did an amazing job. So anyways, let's jump into this video. This is gonna be my romantic uh, uh, rose gold Valentine's Day look. It's something that I would most likely be wearing on my date night for Valentine's Day because it's just sort of like a subtle, uh, very subtle, very subtle look, very girly, but at the same time, you know, it adds a pop of, of, of of, I would say dramatic when you wear lashes if you don't want to wear lashes and you want to skip lashes I recommend just pack on the mascara on your lashes um, if you're not if you don't want to go through the hassle of wearing like mascara, uh, lashes that day but I think just wearing lashes is gonna make you look a little more dramatic so that's why I want to go ahead and pop some lashes on I'm not gonna keep rambling I am going to go ahead and jump right into this tutorial and I hope you guys like it and if you guys do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it's fun over here <laughs> thank you guys so much again for your support I love you guys Mwah. bunches and let's get started onto this tutorial <laughs> Hello, welcome I'm back. So here is a clean face, completely clean. I just washed it and I look so pale. So I'm gonna moisturize my face with the Believe Hydrating Aqua Balm, which is bomb. And I apply it all over my face and I go ahead and massage it all over my face and I let it sit in my face for a couple of seconds. And then what I like to do is I like to grab my primer and I'm using the L'Oreal Pore Banisher. And I'm applying that all over my face, especially in the areas where I have large pores and then everything else just to prep my face. I'm going in with two foundations. The one I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and then the Ultra HD foundation by Makeup Forever. Reason why is because I get the perfect mixture when I mix both of them together. No preference, it's just pretty much color wise I would say. So here I'm just mixing in the back of my head and I'm just applying a little bit with that uh, back of the eyeshadow brush that I used and then of course a damp a beauty blender works magic girls like honestly I don't think I'll ever go back to a foundation brush and if the foundation looks a little bit too dark what I like to do is I would like to go in with a little bit more of the fit me foundation and I usually like to do this extra as well because it gives me more of a full coverage when I apply at least two coats of foundation a foundation excuse me so I let it sit a little bit and then I just like to dab on a little bit on the wherever it doesn't have foundation just to make sure that it sits well. Then I'm going to grab, I know this is probably going to freak some people out, but I like to grab a loose powder and I'm using this Maybelline loose powder and I'm covering my lap and I just like to apply it as if I'm baking my face and as you can see I didn't apply it where I would normally apply my concealer. So then I move on to my eyebrows so you can see I have hair on one, that one. And then the other one is just ooh, WTF, like seriously? <laughs> okay. These things have come to be my baby. These are the Maybelline uh, bra uh, Brow Studio, something like that. One side is the pencil, and then the other side is a little spoolie. So with the pencil, I use a darker color. And what I do is I go ahead and outline them. Uh, again, I'm having a love-hate relationship with my eyebrows. So once I get the hang of it, I will definitely do a brow tutorial. So I just outline them and then what I like to do is with a lighter color I fill them in. And my eyebrows are filled and I like to do them a little bit bold. Some people are like, oh my god. But I like to do them bold because once the makeup is set, you'll see the difference. So I like to set, uh, prep my eyes with a little bit of concealer and I'm going in with the Naked uh, 3 colors. But I'm first going to grab the Naked Basic and the reason why is I'm dabbing on a light color onto my lid as a prep to be able to pick up very well the colors that I'm gonna be using on my lid. So there I am on the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm grabbing the color in Limit 
and I'm using that on the crease and I'm creating that same curve of the eye like if you would do like a cat eye sort of thing I'm not blending it upwards I'm just trying to keep it very defined on my crease so again that color is a limit if I can see very well let me see that limit by the Urban Decay's Herb uh, Naked 3 so I do it to the other eye and the key here is to blend 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 and I did just a little bit and I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm going to grab that darker mauve color which is in the color Mona and I'm going to do the same thing which is just going to bring a little bit more definition now I'm doing it kind of light you can always intensify the look a lot more by just packing up more color so with that naked basic palette I'm grabbing that color in Venice and I'm using that as my brow bowl highlight and then I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush and I'm going to uh, blend everything together. Now moving on to the lid, I'm going to grab a shader brush and I'm using that color called, I really can't see, like a dust. It's like a pink or rose gold. But then I'm also going to go on top of that with the color in, bear with me because this is like buzz or does buzz <laughs> with the color buzz and I'm going on top to create that more of a rose gold champagne gold um, I don't know pink gold whatever you want to call it and you can't really see the difference here because of the light but and now moving on to the liner as you can see you need to control your hand so you can get a very good liner application so what I like to do is I like to outline my eyes and then how I would like the wing to come out as you can see and then there I start drawing the wing upwards and outwards girls it is hard to do a wing eyeliner like it's hard to get your wings even it's hard to do a cat eye it's hard to look make it look hot but we can always try and what I like to do is that I just once I do the wing out, I just like to bring it inwards and just connect it. Sometimes I go all the way in my eye. Sometimes I stay a little bit closer to the end. And then what I like to do is I just like to fill it in. And again, I'm doing the same thing to my other eye. Just preparing the wing first, bringing it a little bit out to the side. Sometimes the wings don't are even, but you can try. I like to spend, I, I like to grab the skin a little bit just to make sure that the um, liner applies smoothly. And then sometimes the eyeliner is going to look throw up. Now this here I used to intensify the liner. This is the NYC Black Eyeliner. Uh, I think it's called Liquid Liner. Once my wings are the way I want them, I go and apply falsies. And then I just like to coat them a little bit with mascara. Just a little bit. And here's a trick that I'm using. You're supposed to use like a salmony corrector for your under eyes. I don't have a salmony corrector at the moment, but I do have a salmony colored lipstick. <laughs> And I'm using this Laura Geller um, Salmony lipstick just to blend it in. Then I'm going in with my two concealers. I'm going with the Tarte Morocco Jaw and the Maybelline Hello Better Skin. I think it is Better Skin. So I'm starting with the Maybelline Better Skin and I'm applying it in triangular motion. I wish I can definitely do my makeup like that every day. And I'm applying it on the bridge of my nose. I'm fanning it out on my forehead and a little bit down my lip, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Then I'm going in using that same brush from that um, concealer and I'm applying a little bit of that Tarte Morocco Jaw. As you can see the Tarte is like, whoa, brightness and a lot of coverage. Then with a damp beauty blender, I am going to blend away. Blend, 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 blend. Hardest part to blend the concealer. You gotta blend it very, very good. And dance while you're putting your makeup on you must dance dance away then I go in with these loose powder and apply it all over my face everywhere and don't worry about the fallout I'm not baking my face I'm just applying loose powder because it helps set the makeup then I'm going in to set my under eyes you can use the NYX uh, contour and correct palette you can use that yellowish banana color but honestly I think I found that the Anastasia one does like an amazing job at it the other one is good too but I just think Anastasia just rocks it honestly but if you don't have Anastasia that one does the job so I'm using that banana color and then I'm using that powder just to brighten the under eyes a little bit 
the bridge of my nose and on the side of my face just to make the contour pop a little bit. And of course, for contouring, you guys all know I am addicted to shade and light. Shade. <laughs> to shade and light. So contour, you guys know how to contour. I'm using this Real Technique blush brush, which is amazing. And I'm contouring my way, okay? There's no right or wrong way. Well, there is a right or wrong way, but I don't care. I contour my way. I just told you in fast motion. <laughs> and then I contour the temples of my face and a little bit in the forehead. My forehead is not that big, so I don't need to make it smaller. And then I use a big fluffy brush just to blend everything else together. For the blush, I'm going with the Hourglass Ambient Blush and I'm using Radiant Magenta. It's a very pretty light shimmery pink and then of course blend away. And for highlight, I'm using Gerard Cosmetics. Um, I forgot which one it's called. I think it's Lucy. Lucy? No? I don't know. Bam! Highlight. Yes! I do that highlight. Highlight away, girl. Highlight. Highlight away. Don't be afraid to highlight. And then the same thing I did on the top of my eyes, I'm going to do on the bottom of my eyes. Closing in the inner tear duct with the lighter, the lighter pink just to bring a pop of highlight into my eyes. And then for lipsticks, I had a freaking mess with lipsticks. So I'm using this strip poker just to matte down my lips. And then I'm using uh, Gerard Cosmetics Serenity by, um, I think it was a Manny MUA that made this lipstick. And then I'm going in with the, I think it's called um, Matte Naked by Milani. So those two colors I mixed together to get like a mauve BB pink. And then I'm just going with a lip gloss just to make my look a little more. <laughs> I was trying to make I was trying to explain a little bit more on how and why I use things and again just you get better with practice so if you can't get that wing lined um, perfect believe me take practice I myself have found myself doing this wing liner in this tutorial a couple of times it's just that the magic of editing in Final Cut Pro. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. And don't forget to follow me on my social media so you can be up to date with what the hell am I doing and why am I missing from YouTube. Thank you so much for sticking until the end. Besotes, be blessed precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.